I've just been to the cafe. Well, they serve you some special cake that makes it somehow OK to burst into people's houses, Bob. Kathy was there with Brenda. This story needs a twist. Crying her eyes out! Which one? Kathy! Do you know why? I've got a feeling it's why you've come round. Because your son practically said that she wasn't fit to shine his shoes. My son? His! Why does she want to shine his shoes? <laughs> Is this deliberate? Is he in? I'm here. Do you know why I am? Well, I could probably guess. If it's to box your ears, yes, you'd be right. Look, if we're going to be stuck... Because you kiss someone that you don't have to mean out. Well, maybe for you lot it doesn't. Up here where you all marry your own mums, flipping Woodstock meets the human centipede. Oi! If you're in our house, you'll mind your manners, all right? He was in my cafe, he didn't mind his. It's not even your cafe anymore. I'm still part owner. Yeah, well, it's not yours then, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels like we're digressing a bit. But whilst we are settling it, Bob, don't you dare go threatening to box someone's ears. It's not 1960 and you're not in the Beano. Leading her on. I didn't lead her on. Sounds to me like he's set her straight. Who sets him straight, eh? What actually counts for bad behaviour in your world, Sam? Well, if he starts bullying April, I'll have a word with him. Is that all right? Changing the subject. No, I'm answering your question. I don't want you anywhere near my daughter. That's fine by me. Oi! You speak to my son one more time like that and it's you who'll leave here with your ears ringing, right? Oh, yeah? Think you're up to the job then, do you, Sam? I know I am. Can you two just start acting your age? This is just weird. Sam, who started it? I didn't start it, he did. Oh, brilliant. Thanks. Stay away! Done!